Fire is really important to us and the children we have on our site. It's something they're really interested in. I think it brings out that kind of primeval feeling and instinct to them. As soon as you put it on, they're really interested, they're watching. It, it's a really nice time to socialise together. They're fascinated by it. And it's a really um, nice time to be able to get that connection with the children. So when you're sitting talking to them, you can build those relationships. They quite often will open up about things to you they wouldn't even think about talking about when you're writing about in other areas of the site. And it's about teaching the fire safely to make sure they have a, a good understanding of fire, what it is, how it works, how to safely light a fire, how to put out a fire, how to think about the wood they need for fires. And that lends itself in other ways about thinking about sustainability of the site and thinking about where they collect the wood from, getting sticks from. And it's really important that they have that level of understanding as well. At their age, they can carry on into later life and adulthood to be able to use fires safely later in life. So they are trained from very early on when they first come and join us how to act and how to behave and how to move around our fire pit. So we have a centre fire pit around the middle with our big logs and then the children move around the edge. So when the children come towards the fire, if they're involved in cooking snack or if they're doing fire lighting or if they just want to sit by the fire just to relax or chat or warm themselves up, then they come into the, into the inner fire circle and they're kneeling on their knees. They're quite down, quite low. And then when they're sitting at the fire pit, they're on their knees all the time. That just makes the means a bit more stable. They're less likely to fall or to slip into the fire zone area. And it just keeps them safe as possible. Also means that we can see where everybody is as they're around the fire. So when children move away from our fire pit, if they're kneeling down around the fire, then they stand up and they walk through the benches and walk around the outside. So if they're trying to get across the circle, they walk away from the fire, round, right around the outside and then round to, to where they need to be. It's something we teach them when they first start. There's lots of games we can play with them to encourage moving out and around the fire so they're not cutting across, just to make sure they're not going again, not going to trip, slip, push into somebody else, um, to keep them really safe. So we have several reg regular fires a week, so it's really important for us that we have everything ready and prepared for writing our fires so we always have a fire box which we have at each site and we also have a, a mobile one as well we can take around about with us too and we have boxes of water which we take down every day we need to have a fire and we have things like our fire buckets as well which again are set at our site or we will take them with us if we're going for a fire elsewhere fantastic um, we have three permanent fire pits on site which we use heavily on a regular basis. We also have fire bowls that we use if we're out with our main sites. We take the fire bowls with us and we use those as a no trace option. So our fuel that we use for our fires, because we're using quite regularly, we buy in fuel, we buy in um, kiln dried logs, which we then split down to use for our fuel and our fires. We do do a little bit of gathering of dry fuel and dry sticks around site, but that's more for the children to get involved in that as well and to understand the different types of wood that we can use within our fires. But the majority of the wood that we burn is, is used by, by imported sustainable wood that we, we buy in. So we cook snacks a couple of times a week. Uh, lunches we have once a week in the fire at least, and that varies between burgers and sausages to soups and children can help prep with that and help with preparing food, chopping food so they can see the whole process going from lighting the, from preparing your site, gathering your fuel, lighting the fire, cooking the food, preparing the food, eating the food and then they help clear away the sites at the end of the day and so they're part of that whole process and that's really important for their education um, about around fire and how to do it sustainably and safely as well as getting that enjoyment of having a hot meal in their tummies at the end of the day.